I'm here because bad news gets halfway around the world before good news gets its shoes on. And all we hear is bad news and all we hear are examples of people that are uh, having uh, problems. But the quiet good news is that literally millions of Americans for the first time have been able to access quality health care at a reasonable price. And it's almost impossible to convey in words what that means to these families. People who have literally lived their lives with a cloud of not being able to have insurance to cover their children or themselves because they've had some health care issues in the past. Uh, I, I wanted to have, uh, uh, I have two personal stories, and I think the fact that we all virtually have personal stories tells you how widespread the impact of this is. It's not just a few people, it's not somebody in Peoria or California, it's people right here in this building. Forty years ago, I was fortunate enough to have a good health care coverage that included free physicals. And because of that, at the age of 28 or 29, I went in to have a routine physical, my first in nine years. In the course of that routine physical, which was part of my health care coverage, which, by the way, is now pre preventive care that's uh, provided under the Affordable Care Act to everyone, I, it was determined that I had a rare and aggressive form of cancer called malignant melanoma. And the thing about malignant melanoma is that you either get it in time and live or you don't and you die. Uh, and I was fortunate enough that it was caught in time, I had surgery and fully recovered, here I am. But it's haunted me ever since that somewhere in America that same year was a young man or a young woman who didn't have health insurance who didn't have access to a, a, a physical, the melanoma didn't get caught, and they're not here. And I can't justify that. I can't say, why me and not them? To me, this is beyond a political or an economic issue. It's a moral issue. And the reality is that in this country, there have been a variety of studies. But in this country, there are now between 40 and 50 million people with no insurance. And the variety of studies have all concluded that somewhere between 25 and 50,000 people a year die simply because they don't have health insurance. Simply because they don't have health insurance, because they didn't get treated in time, because they were afraid to go to the emergency room, because they went in and had treatment, but it was too late. And that's sort of my personal reason for feeling so passionately about this. I cannot for the life of me figure out why anyone in this country would, ex would exert any political effort whatsoever to keep people from having health insurance. The second personal story is that I have two children who are covered under my policy today who would not be were it not for the Affordable Care Act. One's 23 and one's 20. 23-year-old is out of school. He, could not, he couldn't be under my coverage, but he is. And because of that, he's able to have more flexibility in what he does for a career. As 23-year-olds are sort of finding their way, he doesn't have to obsess about the fact that I can only take a job that provides health care because he's covered under my, under my coverage. And so, as I say, I, I consider this a, uh, a, a moral and an ethical issue. Not one of us, if someone was choking on the subway, would turn our back. Not one of us would say, I'm sorry, that's not my problem. We would all try to help. And the Affordable Care Act is nothing but that impulse writ large. It's the impulse to help and to say, it's not my problem, is not our way as a people. And of course it's complicated and of course it's difficult and there are growing pains and the website didn't work very well, I can attest to that. But the impulse is right, the vision is right, the concept is right. And this idea that people can be denied, which they are, hundreds of thousands of people in Maine technically could be turned away but for the Affordable Care Act because of pre-existing conditions. And disease is no respecter of social class or economics or anything else. 
And that's why we need to be able to provide this kind of coverage to all of our citizens.